Hi and welcome to another Majestic.cloud video. My name is Laszlo and today I'm going to talk to you about EC2 Instance Connect which allows us to connect to EC2 instances without uh, needing a local SSH client or an SSH key. So let's see how this works. I'm in the EC2 console and I am going to launch a new instance let's launch an instance in region Ohio it will be an Amazon Linux 2 AM, uh, AMI let's select uh, T2 micro it's fine here I will leave everything on the default settings next add storage uh, 8 gigabytes it's fine add tax security group I will create a new security group I will say EC2 instance connect demo for example and here for the SSH I will whitelist my IP but uh, this is not going to work and I will tell you why um, let's go forward and click on launch here I will proceed without a key pair so actually I will not uh, assign a key pair to this uh, instance and I need to confirm this and launch instances and we will see that when the instance will launch it will have no um, key attached to it whatsoever my instance is now running and uh, here you can see key pair name is nothing we don't have a key pair so usually now you would use your um, uh, local SSH client if you ha would have assigned a key pair and you would ne have needed to download the key and um, connect uh, using that and also usually you whitelist your uh, IP address and in this uh, case we will uh, connect with EC2 instance connect which can be accessed here you click on the connect button and you see here the first option is instance connect uh, you could also connect with session manager I have did a video on this a while ago I will link it uh, to the, this video but uh, now we'll use instance connect and um, here you need to specify the username usually uh, instance connect detects the username but in some cases it might uh, fail to, co to detect it uh, correctly so you need to specify it then um, it's EC2 user and it's correct and let's click on connect and see what happens and I click on connect it opens a new tab in my browser and here uh, normally it would need to show the, the terminal but it says there was a problem connecting to your instance and this happens because while normally uh, when you connect from a local instance um, what happens is that in the security group you whitelisted your IP and um, this one uh, you whitelist your IP and I've wh I have whitelisted my IP but um, Instance Connect is using actually an AWS server to connect to uh, the EC2 instance and not your local IP address so you need to whitelist actually the EC2 service uh, which uh, does this and you can find that um, here AWS publishes an AWS IP address range uh, document and here you have um, the IP ranges JSON file and I have opened it here so these are the IP ranges of AWS which they are using for different services and we want to find here instance connect so where it says service EC2 instance connect and we need to find our um, region uh, identifier so I am in uh, US East 2 so let's find US East 2 for instance connect and uh, if I scroll down EU North let's see where it is US is to this one okay so I will need to grab this IP range 
and uh, go to the security group edit inbound rules and instead of my own IP address um, I will insert this IP range save and then um, I can go back to the EC2 instance and I can click again on connect and connect and this time it should be able to connect and yes it's correct uh, it could connect I will do a yum update sudo yum update it works I I'm able to interact with this instance without any problems and I didn't have to use any local SSH client or um, um, to download the key to my machine I didn't even assign an um, SSH key to this uh, to this instance now what you need to know uh, when you want to use this uh, instance connect uh, option for connecting is that uh, it's supported only for Amazon Linux 2 and uh, Ubuntu so Amazon Linux 2 and Ubuntu and uh, for older instances you might need to install the agent uh, on your um, uh, machine for newer um, uh, AMIs this is already included and if you don't connect with um, an admin user you need to configure some IAM permissions for your user my user which which uh, is logged in here has full admin access that's why I would uh, I was able to connect but otherwise you need to go and um, assign this permission EC2 instance connects and SSH public key um, when you assign this uh, it allows uh, your user to inject an SSH public key to the instance so you're still using an SSH key but uh, uh, AWS injects it behind the scenes to, to the instance for you so this, this is it uh, this is how you um, connect to the instance with instance connect um, this is how you uh, need to um, whitelist your uh, the AWS IP range which uh, allows you to connect to the instance so I hope uh, this, uh, this uh, is useful for you and you like this video um, if you did please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel I hope to see you soon with another video have a great day